Hello and well, welcome to MusePan.com. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn on how to add a Skype call or chat button onto your uh, page. So uh, let me just show you first of all what I'm talking about. Let's say this is my contact page where I have given an option to call me on phone by email or there's an option for Skype. So if the person hover over it, he gets the option either to call me on Skype or have a uh, chat session with me over the Skype. So let me just show you what happens if I click on call. If I click on it, my, my machine automatically connects with Skype and it would place a call onto my Skype account that I've updated into my widget. So let's give it a moment. Yeah. So you are about to call following and this is my account for Skype. So once I click on yes, it would start connecting and the moment I receive it, I just connect it and the conversation. Sorry for that. So, and similarly, the person can have a chat also. There we go. Let me reply from my other Skype account also. Bingo. So this is the way a person can use uh, this button to communicate with you over the Skype because it's a free service for most of people and it can create a lot of contacts for you. So how do we get this into your Adobe Muse? So you need to come to this page or you can go to musepen.com, search for this widget and you need to add it to the cart. Once you have added it to the cart, you would receive a Muli file for that. And once you double click onto that Muli file, it would be added to the library panel of Adobe Muse. And it would be named as Muse Pen Skype button. And its icon would look like this. So how do we add this widget now? It's very simple. Once it is added, drag it and drop it. And where we want to place it, just place it. So now the next thing is before I customize it, let me show you how its options panel looks like. So the first option is Skype ID. So the Skype ID is the Skype name. So whenever you register on Skype, if you go to the account settings, you would find Skype name over there. So the same Skype name is your Skype ID. So go to that page, copy it and uh, place it over here. So for my example, my Skype ID is Muse Pen. So I placed it here. Now the second formatting options give us three basic things to decide. The first one is the button type. So right now, what I, the example I showed you was a drop down where you get an option uh, to place both chat and call option. But in case you do not want chat or call, you want one specific type, you can select this and then you can get the options. So let's say I just want to give call option to call. So I will just select call. The widget would change and now you would observe this drop down would be gone. So now it only has a call option. In case if I select for chat, it would uh, only have the option for chat. Now there would not be any drop down and you would be connected with Skype to chat. So this is all this button type does for you. Let me get it back to the chat and call where we have a drop down where a person can select either whether you want to call or chat with you. Now the second option is the button color. Skype itself provides two options, blue and white. So we have given you both options. So if you want it to be white, you can select the button color as white and it would change its color. So if you have a darker background, you can use white. If you have a lighter background, you can uh, go for blue one. Now the button size. Uh, Skype provide, provide us these options for button size, so we have given those. If you want to put a very small icon, you can uh, like uh, select 10 and put, create a small one. So basically you can use this one for mobiles, uh, small screen mobiles or rather I would suggest you to go for 14 in case you are into mobile. However, once you are on, uh, on a machine or, or on a desktop, so 24 or 32 would be the right choice for you. Now there's one more problem. As the widget size is big, so how do you center this? Because uh, from from the designing purpose, uh, centering is a very important part. So 
uh, there is no proper fix for that but I have a workaround to make it working just once you have the widget just try to make it as small as you can and then the widget it would ex uh, adjust itself according to the requirement you can uh, avoid this white background because uh, this is not going to show up once you upload the page so now let me make sure it is center there is indicator okay so it's center so my settings are also as per my need so let me just go ahead and try to preview it again so once we preview this page it would load it for us and then we will try to place a call once again so now it's a smaller one I get the option for drop down so let's make a call again you may get this option but you can ignore that if Skype is already installed onto the visitors page yeah. not installed he would get a prompt to install it So once the call is connected, I would pick it up once again. There we go. Okay. So let's ignore this. So this is how you can place a Skype call button onto your page to enable your site visitor to contact you using this Skype call button. So this is a free widget. Uh, so you need not to spend a single penny for it just go to musepen.com download the widget from here add it to the cart register yourself if you are not already registered and start using this widget without any problem so in case you find any bug or anything that you want to share us about this widget you can give us an email on contact as musepen.com or uh, you can also go to musepen.com and go to the contact us section and send us a an, uh, message from there so this is all we have for this widget for you. Um, keep watching MusePen tutorial for more upcoming widgets for you. So thank you for watching video. Have a nice day ahead. Bye bye.